Today we're going to talk about what it takes to generate one kilowatt of power from a diesel generator. The quick answer, 80 cents to $5. If that's all you came for, feel free to click away now. If you want to know why that range, stay tuned. The biggest factor in determining the cost of a, of a kilowatt of power is going to be the efficiency that the generator runs. But before we get into that, let's talk about all the different factors that need to be considered when you're doing the calculation. First, you've got to buy the, the generator. So the, you've got equipment cost, you've got your maintenance cost to keep the generator running, so oil changes, filter changes, things like that. And then most diesel engines uh, only have about 2,000 hours worth of life in them. So knowing that there's a little over 8,000 hours in a year, you can do the math. How much time do you plan on running that diesel generator? The big expense is going to be your cost of fuel. The biggest variable in your cost of electricity is going to be the efficiency of the generator. And so to determine the best efficiency, uh, you need to look at a fuel map. What I've got on the board here is an example of a, of a fuel map. Now all diesel engines uh, have their own fuel map and they're going to vary from one to the next, but uh, for most parts they're going to look approximately like this. So what this shows is that when the diesel engine is running at roughly 80% of its RPM and it has approximately an 80% load, that is going to achieve your very best efficiency. And in this case, this is 0.3 pounds of fuel per kilowatt hour. If the load changes, so the amount of power that you're drawing from the, the generator changes, you're going to move into these different concentric circles here. And depending how far away you move from that theoretical 80% load, determines how your, your efficiency ends up. So as you move away, you go from burning 0.3 pounds to 0.4 to 0.5 and so on. And so what that shows is that with a poorly loaded generator, you're not gonna get nearly as good of efficiency. All the way to the scenario where you don't have any load whatsoever. You've got your diesel generator running, but you aren't drawing any power from it. You don't have any lights on, you aren't running a refrigerator, or whatever it is that you are using that generator for, if there's no electrical load, then all of your fuel is being burned just to keep the engine running, and it's not delivering any power at all. What we need to then look at is how much power is available in a gallon of diesel fuel, and we know that's somewhere around 130,000 BTU. And it's gonna vary a little bit from one diesel fuel to the next, but that's close enough. Now we also know that there's 3,412 BTUs in a kilowatt. So if you divide 130,000 by 3,412, what you end up is with 38.1 potential kilowatts of power in that gallon of diesel fuel. Now, when you run that fuel through a diesel motor, Diesel motors have considerable parasitic losses. Those parasitic losses will detract from the overall power. So you're gonna spend roughly 30% of the energy is going to go out the exhaust pipe. Another 30% is gonna go through the cooling system. And then you're gonna lose another about 10% of just radiated heat coming off of the block. So what you're left with is 30% of the available energy in that 130,000 BTUs that's available to generate electricity. Let's just say, for, to keep numbers round, that ends up being about 10 kilowatts of power that you have available. And that's what you're generating if you are running right at this sweet spot. So, if you're buying the fuel for $4 a gallon and you're able to generate 10 kilowatts of power, that's 40 cents per kilowatt just in fuel cost. What I know from looking at a lot of different scenarios is other expenses, the cost of equipment, the maintenance, the replacement, is gonna be around another 40 cents. When you add the 40% of your maintenance and equipment, 
plus the 40 percent of fuel in the very best scenario that's how you get your 80 cents per kilowatt hour as the efficiency goes down costs go up all the way down to the point where you aren't generating any power at all and that's how you get up to the five dollars fuel cost plus your equipment cost and you're at five bucks so loading's everything and diesel power is not cheap <laughs>